Alright, so let's, uh... Oh, wait, let me just double-check to make sure the skills are right. Let me see. Sakura's passing down Bowbreaker, and Subaki's passing down Weiss... Or, Dragon Fang. Alright. Paralog 13, truly talented. While Subaki is visiting his daughter, Kaldor, he hears that there are enemies running amok, and he hurries to confront them. Kaldori makes a small resolution. Paralog 13, truly talented. It's been so long since I was in, last in this deep room. How peaceful it is. Now then, where's my daughter? Father, here I am. Welcome back. Kaldori, my dear, you've grown even more beautiful while I've been away. Goodness, please, Father, you're embarrassing me. Do I doubt too much? Maybe so. You've been well, I hope. Yes, of course. I've kept up with every aspect of my training and studies. And in my spare time, I've memorized several books about war strategy. Wow, impressive. I'm trying to be perfect just like your father? I'm aiming for capable. I've never seen real combat yet. Take your time, darling. Don't rush yourself. The reason my friends and I are constantly at war is to end war. Reporting, sir. Urgent news from the other side. Enemies are attacking us sight as we speak. You're needed at once. All right, I'll go at once. I'm here too. I can fight, Father. You want to join me? Well, why not? I would learn so much more in actual combat. Besides, don't you need all the help you can get? No, we've got it under control, Caldera. You're brave to volunteer. I couldn't bear the thought of putting you in harm's way. But, Father... Caldera, don't you worry. My friends are excellent at what they do. And I must say that I approach perfection on the battlefield. Wait here. I'll return as soon as the battle's over. I, um, but... No buts, Caldori. I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, father. Hmm. Alright, so, uh, yeah. So, here's the thing. If you actually kill off the father, um, you actually get a free unit slot. So, if I kill off Tsubaki, I'd actually be able to bring anyone else. Oh my god. <laughs> but, unfortunately, I'm not kill trying to kill the kid the parents here, so Tsubaki's kind of stuck with us. So, Caldori's going to join the battle as soon as we start, so I... Mm -hmm. I don't think I really need to pair him up with anyone. I, I mean, I think she joins right beside this farm lab right here. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we can bring... Well, we'll bring Kaze. I guess we can bench... <laughs> Are there any fires in this chapter? Uh, no, okay. I guess we can bench, uh... We can bring Sure for this chapter and talk me. Mm -hmm. See, we can bring Kaze and... I'm gonna bring Shiro. And let's see, let's pair you up with your husband, and let's get Shiro over here. Actually, Ryoma... Hmm. Yeah, let's get Ryoma down over there. And, uh, yeah, okay, this seems fine. Alright, so let's save, and let's go. And I think we'll be able to talk about Kazori once we start, because I do believe she mm -hmm. starts... Okay. How is this possible? They swarmed this area. Is there no end to them? The odds seem against us. Okay, she joins below him. Mm -hmm. Let me help, Father. Kador, you shouldn't be here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disobey you, but I had to jump at the opportunity. Daughter. I want to help, I really, really do. I'm tired of sitting home alone and waiting to be of some use. I'll never be as perfect as you are, Father, but I'd like to start trying to be. I've rig rigorously trained myself in martial arts, among other disciplines. I won't disappoint you. Kaldor, of course you won't. You seem like quite a wonder already. Alright, stay and fight alongside me. Don't get overconfident, though. This is your first battle, after all. Yes, of course. I'll do my best, Father. And what he said just about being right beside her, he wasn't kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, nice. So she did get Dragon Fang and Bowbreaker. So let us just, um, let's see. Okay, so she doesn't do too well, but she has to promote first. So I guess we can just... Mm -hmm. Let's clear out this area first before we, like, actually start promoting. So, let's see, how does Kaze do? Uh, oh my god, seriously, that's, that... He needs strain, this is the problem. I know. Okay, let's see, he might park Luna. I'm doing this mostly for the body strength here, please dodge. Thank you. Okay, poison strike, thank you. Okay. Well, we could get a crit here, hopefully. 
That's not who I wanted to get a crit though, but I'll take it. <laughs> so speed, nice. And I know can get this skill, nice. Oh my god, now you <laughs> Now crits? she does. Come on, god damn it. Oh damn, okay. Oh yeah, there is also a gimmick I should have mentioned in this chapter. Hit points, skill, luck, defense, rest. Thank you for getting skill, Hanoka. Um, some of these enemies are actually higher level than the other enemies. So, for instance, this guy, like, you get face some level 10 guys, but you face some level 20 guys, actually. And, weirdly enough, the level 20 guys have worse equipment than the level 10 guys. Like, there's here's a, like, here's a level 10 here with a silver sword. Next to him is a level 20 here with a steel sword. Like, what? That just seems weird. And hmm. also, here's the boss, Captain Magic, Jesus. Hmm. Alright, so, uh, Kana, how does he do? Okay, not the best. Well, luckily, if Shira and Hinoka do damage to this guy, he can potentially kill. Nice, seal speed. And okay, nice. A oh, nice soul, even though it's unnecessary. Oh my god, what? <laughs> god damn. Uh, okay, yeah, he'll be fine. Okay, we might actually have to kill here, unfortunately, with the cavalry. No, I'm not risking that. I'm actually gonna, just going to have you crit. There we go. I'm not banking on, on Kaze getting a crit there. Alright, now, back onto this side. So this side's a little bit scary because you have some pretty scary enemies coming in. Luckily, I have an automatic uh, cheat code right here. So I'll just put um, uh, Ryama here on the bridge. And, um... Oh yeah, I forget. This guy always sneaks up on me for some reason. Hey, nice! That was sword. There you go. What? Rinka, you missed that? Come on. Alright, level for Hayato. Oh my god, three more levels and he gets Rise Spectrum. He points magic to life. Nice. Alright. Come on. Sizo, please get a crit. Oh, nice, lethality. That's Ooh, even that better. Works. All right, nice. This actually went better than I expected. Rally strength. There we go. Ooh, okay. That's actually not good. Ow! Oh, Astro, thank you. Please don't crit here. No, I don't want you to crit Fuck. I was hoping you would get, like, Astro to charge his shield gauge. Oh god. Ooh. My god, yeah. These guys are scared with their equipment. Please get soul. Yes, he got soul! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Nice! Jesus. Oh my god, that was a good soul perk right there. I think the best one I've seen ever. Okay. Um. Wait, he has vantage, right? Yes! Thank you. Okay, nice. The vantage. Is... Okay, this is where vantage comes in. Comes into play. Yeah, oh my god, the vantage is point, point, nice. point. Hang on. Alright, level for Ryoma. He's now level 13. Two more levels and he gets sword fair. Strength, magic, skill, luck. Alright, so now we can, now that we've gotten the situation under control, now we can promote Kaldor and we can also talk about her. So, we're making her... Um, what are we making her actually? Do you have a preference? Um, I would say probably a Falcon Knight. That's what I usually make her. Okay. I was thinking Kenshi. I mean, because... either is fine. Yeah. I have anything. We can always make Shigure a Kenshi then when we get him. Mm -hmm. That's usually what I do with him because I don't really have a lot of good bow users. Though mm -hmm. in Birthright, it's kind of hard to make him a Kenshi Knight because you have Takumi and Takumi yeah. just obsoletes all their bow users. 
Except for Shura. Shura has initiatives. Alright, 7 hit points, 7 strength, 8 magic, uh, 6 skill, 8 speed, 7 luck, 6 defense, 7 res, and 1 movement. And she gets rise speed, and B-rank and lances, and D-rank and saves. So yeah, here's uh, Kaldori, everyone. Um, she's a level 10 Falcon Knight, which that's actually a pretty good uh, spot for her to join. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see, so... Um, Kaldori with... Um, Sakura with a Falcon Knight. So yeah, Kaldori, she has basically 50 HP, 45 strength, 45 magic, 50 skill, 55 speed, 70 luck, 35 defense, and 40 rest. So overall, pretty... Balance jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. Her base stats are pretty good. Three speed. Like, she's getting three from her father, but still, the CG, even like 27 base is good. She has yeah. really good, like, matching and strength. She has the same strength mm -hmm. as Hinoka, better magic, better skill, roughly the uh, same speed, but she has less speed because, you know, Hinoka, like, you know, because of her father. Um, better luck, better, uh, better defense, um, and better. Res, yeah, better res actually. I uh, know, more res. So, overall, I do think Kaldori is better. Like, he's actually like your best stock. And I, when and when I do my uh, revelation packs, she's actually gonna be my wife. So, I actually have like, th though I do have plans on who to make her wife, um, or who to be, who she'll actually be like the mother of. And she is mm -hmm. the mother of, you know, Sakura and Tsubaki. So it's understandable why she has good res, or good magic, as well as luck. And because she was married from Sakura, or she's the mo she has Sakura as a mother, she has uh, royal blood, actually. So she can use dragon fangs, which is very useful as a flyer. And she has prodigy. This is also, this has always been a hard skill for me to make good use of. Like, mm -hmm. I, it's always hard for me to make good use of this skill. Uh, she has Dragon Fang, which is she inherited from Subaki, which I am not gonna like even justify this. Like, if you're a child, you can inherit basically any skill. I'm not gonna, like, I couldn't inherit anything from Subaki. Like, I bought this skill for Subaki because what is he gonna pass down? Yeah. She already that's... gets Dragon Blood, so she can't inherit that. Uh, Bow Breaker from Sakura because, you know, I had a Sakura Bow Breaker. Camaraderie and Rise Speed from Falcon Knight, so. Overall, I think this Kaldori is fine. Like, I think I'll rate this Kaldori. Mm, you know, I'm actually gonna rate her five stars. I would rate her four stars if she didn't come with Dragon Blood. But because of her state of this game, with her Dragon Fang and Bowbreaker, I think I'll rate her five stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty impressed, and Dragon Fang will really help because she has pretty good strength or uh, skill, like decent skill. Mm -hmm. um, I have the same skill. Yeah, um, yeah, no, she she looks like she can be really good. Um, I personally, I'm gonna give her four out of five stars. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I wish her strength was a little bit higher, but I kind of wish that about a lot of units in our army right now. So. Yeah, I think what her, like whereas Kana's more like balance, where he doesn't like sacrifice any stats to play mm -hmm. with the strength of magic. It seems like she sacrificed some of her strength. To be put into magic, but that's yeah. understandable because she has Sakura as a mother. Yeah, because Sakura is her mom. Okay, so we need to tank this. Um, okay, looks like I'm gonna have to use uh, Sakura to tank this drawbridge here for this bridge. Uh, please, fucking hell, Kaze, come on, bro. Okay, uh, he could crit here like he did last time. He doesn't? Okay. Alright, there we go. Nice job, Hinoko. Now back on over to this side. I know you- I don't- I don't really feel com- Okay, you know what? Actually, wait, if it's mages coming in, uh, Cairo can actually handle those mages coming in. Mm -hmm. I'll just have the Cairo start real quick. Of course, be on the safe side. Um, may- oh, right, uh, I think I had already capped the luck, actually. Oh, no, wait, he just leveled up luck, so he did just cap luck, actually. I gotta say, his luck cap is kinda low, like 27? That's kinda low for my, my game. Okay, so how am I gonna tank this? Um, 
What is rank D? Ooh, okay, that's not good. Um, defense, really? I kind of need res here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to weigh on the fort here. Like, I can't really, like, tank this, like, mage all too reliably. Equip the horse spirits and just. How's size you do on his own? Actually, yeah, if he wins on the fort, he'll be fine. Alright, let's see how this turn goes. Hopefully, alright. Oh, yeah, okay, the boss isn't that scary. The like, gas can't match it, but even, like, Congo does not care. <laughs> Yeah, this guy has a thunder tone. I think this guy has level twenty because he has like, like a thunder tone, really. Mhm. Mm All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. This guy's another level twenty guy. Kaze, maybe not correct this guy because I would like to get this. Okay, Luna. Oh my god, he pretty. Oh. Uh Eighty-four. Okay. Alright, well, that's a little off him. He'll get a skill at least. If points, speed, res. Oh my god, he didn't get strain. He got iron will. So, yeah, I do like this actually. This is a pretty good skill for him to get. I think I'm just gonna take a lock touch off of him because we have like mm -hmm. Zyzo and Kagro. Like, mm hmm. Shura. <laughs> yeah, sure. Plus, we only have like one more chapter left of chess, I think. Ow! Seriously, no aimless prop? Come on. Alright, dead. Ow. Oh my god, that is so close. Alright, critical. And he's gonna get a low all off of this. So I think he'll get um, clarity. Hit points, train, train, skill, speed, defense. Yo. Nice. Alright, clarity. So, yeah, this skill I honestly only use if he uses silver shurikens, which, considering. Yeah. How bad his like strength has been? I might just give him the shurikens for him to use this actually. So yeah. I think it's e I'm tied between either poison strike or even keel honestly. I would say even keel because okay. he's got iron will now. Yeah, I mean these stack though. Just keep that in mind. Though. Yeah, I know, but oh my god, that is a lot of these. Oh god, the battle is even more. Alright. Oh. Uh... Okay, so this is a... Okay, this is just a little 10 guy. Alright. Crit. There we go. Nice. Okay, wow. Oh, okay, nice. That's actually not too bad. Um, Let me give her some of my focus, like, last. Let's see. The bold and guard. Rally speed. What does she do now? Oh, uh, not too bad, actually. Thanks for Shiro. Oh, what the? Really? Oh, okay. That's not too good. Um. Oh my god, what? Alright, right. This is a little 20 guy, so his magic is really good. Okay. Oh, uh, this isn't. But uh, this isn't not good. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the Hinoka Spear, but I'm kind of worried about uh, Oberon right here, because she's kind of like exposed and out in the open. And you have the Gardener equipped. Okay, she gets a crit. If I knew that, I would have equipped the Gardener, you know? Alright, Kyra, or Oberon, please get a good level up. Strength, magic, skill. That is not what I needed. Okay, it's just a Fimble Varagrath that can attack her. And these mages can't reach. Okay, so if I go over to this side, um, this side is like kind of scary. Um, this guy's wait, the dual club. Nice. Okay, they, here Rinka can now use the dual club here. Oh, nice, critical. Okay. Nice. All right, level up for Rinka. She's now level eleven. Hit points, defense. Okay. I cannot believe she's got this much defense. 
Do I have a round? Okay, I have a Kazi's name. Alright, so power run starts. Here we go. And Sazo should get a lot of experience because this guy is level 20. Uh, yeah. Yep. Here we have a level. Level 9. Strength, skill, speed, defense. Nice. Hey. And Kazi's name. Nice. It says just enough damage and we'll get a lot of speed. Level for Kagura, level 12, hit points, skill, speed, res, nice. Alright, let's see how this turn goes. Uh, okay, this is level 20 guy, because he's got the gun. Dodge, nice. Ooh, okay, yeah, okay, I'm glad this guy is just a, using a thermal dart. Nice dodge, dodge is anyway. Okay, this is a little 20 guy. Come on, Saizo, please dodge. Ow. Don't you dare kill. Please. Okay, thank you. Alright, this guy goes for Rinka. Uh, okay. Good luck, dude. <laughs> he actually hits. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, wait. That's why I love Rinka. I can't believe she's just good. I wonder how good she would have been. Nice. As oh a blacksmith, god. though. Uh, I don't know, her I growth just, rates aren't as good, and I, I don't really. She said, like, I think, feel like her magic just. I can't believe her magic is actually viable at the state. I don't really know if it's that viable compared to, you know. You were saying. Hayato and. Was there more about her magic? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that powerful 8 damage. The 32 beforehand. What? Okay, well, give. Why don't you give the Mjolnir to uh, Hayato and see what he can do? Because he can do just enough with a Force Spirit or a Lemon Sword, or even Paper. So give Paper to Rinka, and okay. then, okay, that, then it's right. a fair comparison. Okay, well, when you do it quite like that, okay, that's not really... Okay. Then, yeah, my argument cannot possibly work. Alright, dead. Thank you, Rinka. Thank you, Rinka. Alright, so it's just heroes left down here. This is the only guy with a steel sword. And this is gonna be perfect because I now I can switch over to the sword catcher. And nice, I can reach the rally speed too. Alright. Hit points, skills, speed, luck. Thank you, Azor, for getting hit points. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're almost done with this chapter. Oh my god, thank you for that sword catcher. I can't believe she counts in the sword catcher. Oh, Dragon Fang, nice. Ooh. There we go. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Alright, level up, level 11. Skill, speed, luck. Alright. Dude, what are you doing? Vantage. Block. Get dead. Okay. Alright, level for Ryoma. Level 14. Oh my god. One more level and he gets sword fair. Straight skill luck. Ooh, that, that'll be really good. Then, like, nothing. Then he's just become a god at that point. Like, he's like he's like a demigod at that point. Wait, what? Oh, right, right. He doesn't have the level of sword. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is not... That's good. Alright. Um... Damn, okay. Don't, please. Okay, thank you. I'm trying to give kills, kills to the kids here. Hey, nice, Luna. I forget. He's nice. He's your kid, so he's gonna pop skills on. Alright, for level for Kana, strength, skill, speed, luck. Nice. Alright. Sword catcher. Alright, this is the last guy. And right here. Alright, All right, so nice. Alright, and Ryoma and Kagro. Again, five turns, another quick parallel. Almost perfect, Kadori. I observed your every move. How can you be this good? 
It was your very first battle. Thanks, but you must have seen that I'm still falling short of your standard. Perfect as you are, that is. Oh, what's this? You've torn your clothing, father. I guess even paragons like you can have a bad day. I'll patch those right up. I'm sure I have a sewing needle among my other things. How prepared of you. Yes, I try. Oh, I also did a quick assessment of the injuries done to the locals. After visiting each and every one, I know that they're all going to be just fine. That is, if we can get them somewhere better for their recuperation. To that end, I've mobilized some of our troops to carry them out of here. I tried to think of what you'd do, basically. Did I catch everything? Yes. Yep, more or less. Well, I also sent a scout ahead to make sure the way is safe. It is. And I'm sure I wasn't as thorough as you, father, but I also... Also? Is she out doing even me? Hey, father. Hello? Hmm, this recounter will soon be more perfect than I am. Father? Sorry if I'm boring you. Well, no, of course not, dear. I must train harder, I know, I know. Someday I'll be as brilliant in battle as you are, father. I swear I won't let you down. I know you won't, Caldori. Just don't push yourself too hard. Ugh, I better stop pushing myself very, very, very hard. Or else my daughter's going to make me look like a one day, a day one novice. Trust me, she's doing that and then so. <laughs> yeah. Also, Crystal, I have to ask, what is your um, uh, opinion about like the Awakening characters making like pseudo reincarnations in this game? Personally, I think it's lazy. Yeah, I kind of figured you'd say that. I mean, <laughs> I like, like just, I mean, I like. Like, it's cute, you know? Like, I think it's cute. And they picked fan favorites. So I think that's cute. But at the same time, like, it's not like Awakening was six games before this or something like that, mm -hmm. you know? Like, we didn't need a nod to Awakening. Awakening just happened. Yeah. And it's understandable why the um, um why the children of Fates or the children mm -hmm. of Awakening come into Fates, even though it's still right. stupid though because of like it's locked behind DLC and it's also like it's it's like on par with Revelations and telling you like why they're right. Really good. It is good. Um, but the thing is though, like when it comes to portraits like this, it feels like they just like polish them up a little bit and just like throw mm -hmm. them in here. Though, it's understandable why the kids from um, Awakening, as well as the um, adults in Awakening, have, like, reincarnations in this game. Mm -hmm. In case you guys don't know, they were, um, there was a poll back in Japan where they basically picked, where basically they ranked the um, first generation and second generation characters of Awakening. And they picked the top two to be in Fates. Be, and Count and Cordelia, I think, plays... Um, second place where um, Darja or Tar, I have no idea how to pr pronounce her name, mm -hmm. placed um, first. Gaius placed um, second, and Prom placed first, but Prom isn't in this game at all. Like, there's no reincarnation. Of yeah. And then um, for the children, Odin, I think, placed um, first, and or Owen placed first, and Inigo placed um, second, whereas in the female division, um, Severa placed um, second, and Lucina placed first. Mm -hmm. There's no Lucina in this game. There is, they have um, battle quotes against Lucina if you have like a Lucina amiibo and you do the hero battle against her. But Lucina mm -hmm. and Prom are not in this game, like at all. Like, there's a DLC for Prom, but as far as like Prom actually being playable, there is no way to make them playable. Like, there's only like right. camera players if you Whereas Lucina is playable, so it's kind of weird, like, they just do, like, the top three at that point. I'm pretty sure if Prom and Lucina didn't place first, though, or didn't, didn't like, place first or second, they would have done, like, another, like, first generation, like, and second generation, mm -hmm. like, character appearance. But I think they didn't do that because, well, like, they're, like, basically the protagonist of Awakening, so it'd be kind of weird if they had, like, reincarnations of those characters in... Yeah, in... Of, in Fates. And, uh, alright. But yeah, I do agree with you that it is kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today. I mean, I, I mean, these prologues are gonna be pretty, like, quick. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, like, don't expect a lot from them. So, I do think when we come back, um, if I had to kind of let me get out of the way, okay, never mind. Um, we do have a couple more prologues to do, and then some, um, 
I think next time we'll definitely go for Rajat, actually. Mm -hmm. And then I think then we'll go for Kiragi, because I do like uh, Kiragi, actually. Um, okay, and yeah, we'll also do support when we come back. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. See you next time. Bye.